it's rather hard. Grown any wiser yet? Achilles, I... Sometimes I fear that Father, if he learns that you've been aiding me, that he will not be generous with you. Don't worry about me, lad. Your father's still getting caught up with work that I created for him in my mortal days. Besides, there's nothing he can take from me. We have a mutual arrangement, he and I. I hope you're right. Tell me something, boy. Did you enjoy the searing heat of Asphodel? You must have thought that you'd be more resilient to it. I'm open to a change of climate, even if it gets a bit uncomfortable. You know nothing of discomfort yet. Making it out of Tartarus is nothing in comparison to what lies ahead for you. Looking forward to it. In the name of Hades, I commute our court musician sentencing effective now. Oh, um, hello. Ah, Orpheus. Oh, hello, Zagreus. I understand you liberated me from my eternal punishment. And so I have returned to serve your father here. Thanks. Orpheus, you're back. Look, don't get on father's bad side like that and you're going to be fine. Besides, right now I think he's angry with me. I grieve for you, my friend. But if you've come to ask me for a song, why? I'm afraid I must stand firm about my answer. It's all right. Father can't make you sing if you don't want to. Oh. Hey, mate. Here. I got this from my favorite court musician. Oh, my, but you can't simply be this kind to me without retaliation on my part, my friend. And so, in turn, I have a gift for you. You're too kind, mate. But that was then, and this is now, and we have work to do. Uh, anyway, Than, I think we'd best continue this discussion at some other time. You're interrupting private conversations, Agrius. Leave us. No, let him stay if that's what he wants. What does it matter? He's technically allowed within these halls, but he must know he isn't welcome anymore. I've come for questionable deals. I'll take that deal. <laughs> Contractor, I would ask that you pursue this job. I'll be excited to see the result. I give the orders around here. Nix isn't around. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you, Fates. Is the dead of night, or the approximation of it in the realm of Hades. Prince of the Underworld, Zagreus, rises from a fitful slumber, 
with much mischief on his mind. Mischief? Me? I was just going to have a little look through Father's stuff. All is quiet at this time. Ever dreaming Hypnos put a spell upon the house, as Wilful Zagreus had asked of him. All are fast asleep, save for the prince. It is exactly as he planned. Lower your voice, old man. I'm trying to be sneaky here. He ventures toward the stately throne of his lord father, half expecting to be caught, but ill expecting what he is about to find. I said shut up, old man. He does not know exactly what he seeks. He only knows that something always has felt off to him, that he does not belong. Who is he, really? Lord Hades never would indulge such questions. So Prince Zagreus would find out for himself. I'm not listening. He rifles through his Lord Father's possessions. There is not much of any import there. Ledgers and administrative parchment work. Correspondence from Olympus which he had ignored. No trace of any reference to his son. But then, there is the note. Written finally in a hand and voice the likes of which the prince had never seen or heard. Hades, I can no longer tolerate my life here in this place. So I'm leaving, even if it kills me. I won't be returning to Olympus. If there is a place where I belong in this world, it must be somewhere between heaven and hell. Perhaps it's on the coast and has a little garden. Take care of Cerberus. I shall miss him. Persephone. Thus did Prince of the Underworld Zagreus absorb the contents of this hidden letter, written in his mother's hand. His mother's hand? My mother's hand? Wait, what? You're saying this Persephone, that she's my mother? But... But father always said that Nyx was m That liar. He lied to me. They both did. All my life. Uh, thus did the prince discover, inadvertently, the well-kept truth about his lineage. Entirely by chance, this did occur. Persephone, the one-time queen of all the underworld. Where had she gone? And why? Engulfed by newfound questions and his rage, the prince decided to confront his lord and master. <sighs> you... why? You... you're... Nyx, you're not my mother. All this time, you and my father, you... you lied to me? Oh, my dear child. So now you know. So now you know. But only half the truth. I can explain the rest, so... Please. It never was my wish to hurt you. Mother, I wonder... Will you even remember me? Who needs sleep? Hello. That's a new one. All set.
No turning back. Family. Death is your only family. Death and I. Best get accustomed to the both of us. No, not on your life. Hello there, Dionysus. As soon as you get up to Olympus, man, it's gonna be a feast like you have never seen. You mark my words. Now take this, and good luck. Should be useful. Godling. The air is beautiful and brisk, the gardens lush, the feasting plentiful. Why, it must be the opposite of everything to which you are accustomed.
Yum. Do that. You're back. Welcome. If I may be so bold, Your Highness, I was wondering what brings you back around this way again? Same story as last time? Look, I have to level with you, Sisyphus. I'm leaving the house. I've had quite enough. You understand, I'm sure. I'm going to the surface. Oh, that is quite an undertaking, Prince. If it wasn't you yourself proposing it, I'd like to call it madness, truth be told. Though, you're just mad enough to pull it off. Well, hey, I hope you make it. Good fortune out there. selection there. Thank you, mate. Felt something. You can do it. Something's amiss. Death is inevitable. Thought I might find you all the way out here. Although, quite frankly, I'm surprised you're still alive. I can hold my own in case you haven't noticed then. I haven't, Zag. Now stand back and let me show you how it's done. This ends now. I don't need your help here, Thanatos. It wasn't being offered. Just happened to be in the area is all. Carry on, Zagreus. Bye. Or strength. Um, nice to meet you. Hey, 
Hey, you must be one of Meg's sisters. Nice to finally meet you. My name is Agrius. Not murderer. Definitely not. Murderer. Murderer. Um, look, I've done some things that maybe aren't great, but I am very, very sure I haven't murdered anyone. one way to prove I'm innocent. Next stop, Asphodel. Keepsakes hold power. then. Ugh, this heat. wish to tell you, Zagreus. There is no shame in your upbringing. Many of us on Olympus, we likewise were born and raised under the strangest circumstances. Someday I'll have to tell you about mine.
style. Good as new. Oh, good. This has to be the chamber renovation I put in. Athena won't mind. That's a relief. Nyx, the night goddess, is that correct, nephew? Well, I suppose she's closest to a queen as your lord fathers like to find down there. I tried to match him up with some more wholesome types, but no, and here we are. Thunder God's might. Bloodless. I won't forget this, not anytime soon. or anything here, Zag. You know I'm not. But truthfully, I am a bit annoyed. A little bit. And so I got to send the message, man. Still mates, right, Dionysus?
is he's upset. And to be honest, why I wasn't that mad to begin with. I just thought I'd shake your branches up a bit. me any insight as to just what sort of hideous monstrosity awaits me over on the next infernal island, Charon mate? That bad, huh? You come to fulfill my father's wishes. Get. 